Sagittarius, welcome to your daily reading, daily energy. Today we're doing the 9th and the 10th of September. I hope everybody is well or doing well. Let's see loves, Sun, Moon, Rising, Science and Venus. What do we have for you and how the energies are there to be projected towards my Sagis. Sagis, we have solitude for you. In silence, peace prevails. And underneath we have gates of triumphs. Success expands in your life. Whatever here you do or you've done, Sagittarius, it is coming to you. What I'm hearing here is like whatever it's coming, be grateful. And sometimes, you know, whatever it's here, the results matters. How much effort have been here, only you could know. Or how much you've been put into the energy, the work, only you know. Whatever you do, quiet work needs to be done or will be done what you don't see is this the success will come afterwards let's see here what is this about for my sag and very grateful for all of you but let's see what do we have for you sagittarius Overall energy for the day, we have Four of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. There's something here you you feel like, oh, that's not going. Just let it go, loves. And basically enjoy the ride. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes, fire energy, which speaks inside you that, yes, things got to go better faster and i've been talking about this quite a while just let it go don't hold it there it's quite hard but whatever you try to push there will be revealed to you at the slower pace and you know as much as you want faster as slower will become so just let it go once you let it go, we'll start moving faster. Whatever the thing, whatever the situation is. Two of Pentacles. You, you still doubt in the things you put effort into. Don't ever do that. Six of Pentacles. Work on your balance and as well balance your thoughts. You are what you think. Whatever energy you put in there, that one is coming more. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Whatever it's here, it's kind of like organize your thoughts. Get organized, no matter whatever you do. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Emperor. And keep the track or keep the way. You know where you're going. You know where is your target. This is you in the future as the emperor. Aries energy here. And you know, in the dailies, we are focusing mostly on you and your energy as we have it. There's a long ride which comes to you with a lot of up and downs take it slow don't hold back don't give up that's your mantra you gotta write it down as we speak three of swords queen of swords watch what you say watch your words as well watch your thoughts seven of pentacles queen of cups queen of cups queen of swords Speaks about balance your mind and your heart. You see? Queen of Swords clarifying the Three of Swords. Queen of Cups clarify the Seven of Cups. Master your emotions. Master your mind. 
Seven of Swords. Knight of Wands. Consistency. Nothing will come unless you put effort and being consistent as well to not forget we are in the virgo season we just passed the full the new moon in virgo which speaks about the nine five schedule and most likely whatever you put effort into that what comes to you and how much effort you put it in six of pentacles chariot once you balance the things out chariot cancerian energy here speaks a lot about that's the move the move will happen once you do that so Sagittarius you have a task to manage here and you know it quite clearly quite clearly I don't feel here you might deal here with a lot of people for some of you at your work or whatever you do in life for your own good, for your own daily energy. But I feel here this is very, very strong energy of a Sag who kind of like clear the clutter, clear the energy around you, make room for more, be clear for what you have right now and what you want to have later. It's kind of like be aware what you say about you. I am good, I am awesome, I will create the best of the best for me, I will make it through, and so on. Because for some of you, you might feel like, you know, this hurts, this is not good, this is the reality, you know? The way you are towards this, the way it's coming. Queen of Cups. Strong energy of that your heart gotta be blended as well seven of cups you do know you have plenty of gifts and Sagittarius, you are one of the luckiest zodiac signs i am a sagittarius sun and very much speaks that once you turn your vision towards positivity you are unstoppable the chariot and the emperor speak by itself. You know your drive. And yes, you are unstoppable. You might be a little stubborn into your move, but the move again will happen. But it will happen only and only if you make some changes do some work and be consistent in a more mature way. Ten of Swords, Devil, Four of Pentacles, Justice, Balance. Balance here what you give balance here what you take okay as well know when to hold the course and when you let go the course that is the the flow be in the flow knight of pentacles page of pentacles nine of swords and three of pentacles and ten of pentacles and the world there's a lot it's kind of the fruits will show up and might show up quicker than you believe it and might show up in a different form than you expecting it but i feel here the fruits are quite sweet you know like honey never expire like honey, very sweet taste and as well very specific. Still doubting yourself? Think about. Let's see here, the Emperor. Look at the Emperor, Eight of Pentacles. 
putting the effort in. That's the way. As you see here, this is at the bottom. The success is coming. Might come a little later, but it's coming. The work gotta happen. And don't expect here shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. As well, you know, the work gotta happen. One more card here as a device. As well, the Ten of Swords clarifying by the devil cut off the negative and implant the positive. And only you can do that, loves. Only you. Eight of Cups, Will of Fortune, and the Sun. And Death. You are transforming. And there is something here which you are going to have. It's quite different than what you have right now, which is a huge turnaround. It's a 80, eight, like 180 degrees turnaround. Leaving behind certain things, please do. And as well, trust the universe into the new and this rebirth. It's like there's a sag here will see their power only walking through this. As well, trusting the universe, trusting in the rebirth. Again, there's something here is like rebirthing again. It's a different you or become a different you once you do this. But again, the solitude very energy speaks that only you you know many 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 things many thoughts many big people only in silence they found their way how to go through and how to move forward but i will say to you this look at here the sacred traveler which is this card in this deck, Solitude. Your power is born in stillness. Sometimes the traveler is in such a hurry to reach the next peak that he gets separated from his spiritual source. However, when the traveler takes time alone, everything falls into perspective. Take time out of your day to be completely quiet. Take a deep, slow breath. Imagine inhaling vitality and exhale all that is not needed. Affirm that all is well. Move past the charter and chaos of the road of life. Be still and hear the voices of your higher self and your spirit guides. So my lovely Sagittarius, in silence you will find, in silence you will find a depth of self-awareness and well as inner peace. This is not a time for you to do certain things which are not there for you, but what are feeling that is for you. Seek solitude. Deep, deep inside you, you will be shown the way. And feel blessed. Love and light, Sage. Many blessings. And we'll see you next time.